Ultra, you're going in the box, whether you like it or not. There were two hours there where I was like in the box, dude. The box is kind of the place you go in a race where it's just, you're working really, really hard. And you hear other people talk about similar type of thing. I know, uh, I think pain cave is like a popular term I've heard other ultra runners talk about, but I feel like for me, the box is just, you don't really want to be there, but it happens. And uh, might be early, might be mile 30, might be mile 50, but it just feels like the world's kind of tiny. All you have is your effort and you have your water and nutrition and like your watch telling you how far you have to go. So this winter, just tried to have a big block of more skiing and just not run as much. I mean, Missoula had a great winter for skiing, but not good for trail running. And so it's a nice time physically to just not run as much. But, but yeah, come March 1st, I felt like it was time to really focus and write out a big training plan and like start running a lot more. The night before Western States, I couldn't sleep because I was afraid of like what it was gonna be like to run 100 miles. Like I was legitimately afraid of how hard it was gonna be or like what place I was gonna put myself in. And I remember even passing someone in Western States, a uh, spectator. Someone was like, hey, why, why are you doing Western States uh, this year again? He'd done it the year before. And he goes, I don't want my pee to be that color again after a race. And I remember I heard that, I was like, I was like, I don't know about this race. But it's always kind of scary to like push yourself that hard. When I am in that space, like there is a part of my personality that's come out that I really didn't think I used to have. Honestly, like I thought I used to be uh, kind of like a, not a coward, but I didn't race like very aggressively. As people were really good making up excuses as to why we can't do something. Like I, I, I grew up with ultra running in my life, and so people I know had run 100 milers, and I remember thinking in college like I will never do something like that because I'd convinced myself that if I did something like that, I would break my foot. That was my excuse. And I think once I started doing them, you know, I ran Speed Goat, which is a 50k did JFK, which is a 50 mile, and then eventually Western States. Like, it was really cool to see that I was even capable of doing something like that. Like, forget the result. Like, finishing a 100 mile race is something I never thought I'd be able to do, like, five years ago. So, I think I definitely am intimidated by, like, the effort and the, the place you put yourself. But that's the cool thing. Like, if it wasn't for these races or these experiences, uh, you, like, I wouldn't, like, know what I'm capable of. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Please record your message. Hey guys, it's Adam. Uh, hey, just calling you. Um, had some bad news. So I was running oh, last week down a hill. Had some had some low back pain flare up that actually got pretty bad at the end. Um, anyway, I haven't been able to run all week, and I just got an MRI, and unfortunately learned I have a grade four sacral stress fracture. So obviously there's a lot of questions I have about why that might have happened, but uh, yeah, kind of tough pill to swallow. Um, I won't be at States this year, uh, won't be racing for the rest of the summer. Um, kind of sucks when you're on the edge like that, but yeah, went over, went over the edge and here we are. So, but yeah, sorry guys. I know, I know our last episode, I won the freaking world championships, so it was hard to top that, but uh, eyes up towards Western States in 2024. All right, see ya.